All right. Welcome back to the channel, Taryn Talks with T. I'm T. Hope you're all having a wonderful Monday. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on so you are notified when I do upload new content and when I do go live. Also, if any of these videos on the channel resonate with you, please, I would love to know in the comments below. All information about me and the channel are in the about section. <clears throat> All right, this one is for the fire signs. I will be doing collective sign readings once a week. Along, and I will continue the dailies. Fire signs, spirit universe. Show us what's going on with the fire signs. Three of Pentacles. Chariot. Page of Pentacles. Could we be taking, after like such like action, like being on the go, 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 realizing that it's time to take a period of rest to rejuvenate so you're not feeling a burnout coming. This is also like aligning with things that are meant for you. The devil. Six of Pentacles. Page of Wands. <coughs> okay, sorry guys. I had to pause this video. I had to get something to drink. Um, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Swords. Taking a pause to decide what you need to what you need to release in your life. What is more balanced? What is more healthy for you? Strength card. I do feel like when you make up your decision and you actually come up with a plan and put it into work and are like steadfast with it and know what you want out of life. Like, you're going to gain the strength and the courage to actually work on it. To actually put forth the effort to changing it. To making it more healthy for you. Seven of Cups could be multiple things that you need to let go of. Move on from... Also, I'm getting, like, declutter your areas. Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Good to have different options in love. Also, it's like building a legacy, going after what you want, creating the life, building stronger connections, healthier connections. Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords. It's time to move on from a situation. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. On the deck that's no longer growing. Like this is you planting your seeds elsewhere and letting and watching, watering, nurturing, and like being able to pick your harvest. Like. 
seeing the benefits of it growing. Ace of Wands, yes, I just did drink out of the jug of juice because I'm the only one that drinks it. <laughs> and the Ace of Pentacles, like, being more stable, being more grounded. Listening to one's inner guide. It's come all out on all of them. Four of Swords, the Emperor is showing up. Three of Cups, go out, have some fun. Stop worrying and stressing over things of the past. And I, I feel like when you become more enlightened to, like, things that have gone on, the more equal, fair, and just you're going to be with yourself with the King of Swords. You know, it's like getting that self-renewal after, like, things have ended in the past. Taking that deep dive to balance out yourself. Setting goals for the future. Being the fool, taking that leap of faith, starting new. The Empress. Emperor and Empress are out here. So it's like, I, I feel like the more you stand your ground, the more you attract what's for you. Could have very fruitful ideas, love option, love, 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 all around it. Seven of Wands, being very protective and cautious of who you intertwine your energy with, who you deal with, how much you're giving to certain situations. Eight of Cups in reverse. Still some things you need to release. We always have something that we could release and let go of that's keeping us unhealthy, that's keeping us unbalanced. But I feel like even though there may be some toxic people that you're still dealing with, just realize the only person in your life that can be the most toxic to you is yourself. And when we heal past wounds, present wounds, and... Learn how to accept and process our emotions and healthy actions through future wounds that may or may not come about. I feel like that's when we like really strive and like are doing the work with our for ourselves. Um, and like when we do that work for ourselves, it helps other people around us. Even though we may stagger and sway sometimes and fall off the beaten path. As long as you're able to find your way back to your own path, I think that's the only thing that like really matters. Because once we find our way back to ourselves, that's when the true healing starts. And remember, healing is not pretty, it's not easy, it's ugly, it's rough. There's a lot of crying, there's good days, there's horrible days. There's days where you just want to dig a hole and hide in it. But here's the thing, it's like... As long as you keep yourself stuck in the past and, like, rethinking negative situations, you're just going to keep reoccurring those same lessons in life. So, fire signs, that's what I have for you, and I will see you next week. Bye.